Yo, what is good lads? I'm back today with a, it's going to be a pretty unusual hybrid. We're going to be using three nations that I think people really don't pick to use in a hybrid. And yeah, as I said, pretty unusual. So starting off in that, we're going to be pulling out the first nation, which is Poland. We're going to go with the Arsenal keeper, that is uh, Chesme. Chesme? Chesney. And he's a pretty decent keeper for his stats. Like His stats don't seem to be all that great, but he's six foot five and he's made some pretty outstanding saves. But... He does seem to, the only downfall of him it would be he never seems to catch anything. He always, he saves everything, but he always just pushes it straight back out. But pretty decent keeper. I was expecting a lot less than he'd done for me. So, yeah, and he's 6'5". I think that helped a lot. I like a good, decent, tall keeper. And the centre-back's probably the best in the team. As you can see, we've got a team this season. What is this fella's name? Herbert. Herbert, he's called Herbert. We're not even going to pronounce the last bit. And we've got Ivanovic. So these are the two centre backs, and introducing the second nation, which is going to be Serbia. So this guy, he's a blue team this season, he's got some absolutely amazing stats, but he's in a shit league, so he only goes for about 29k in an absolute bargain. 79 pace, 76 defending, and 72 head, and he stands at 6 foot tall. He catches up with most players, he's so strong and wins a lot of headers. Ivanovic, he's a bit on the slow side, I don't see why he goes for that much, he's by far the most expensive player in this team, but other than that, he wins every header. He, I don't know, 73 pace, he just seems a bit slug, it seems like he has about 70, but he's got great on-card stats, he's got, I think he's got something stupid like 96 shot power as well with that 73 shooting, he's got decent passing as well, his pace is good enough, but... 88 defending and 88 heading is absolutely incredible, and he stands at six foot two. But mind he's not worth 178k. But you could get Tim this season and Starsic here either. But I thought I'd go for this guy. I never tried him before, and he was pretty decent. Left back. The only um, f uh, thing with the left side of his defence is a bit slow with these two. But other than that, absolutely amazing. Kolarov is an absolute tank. I like using him just to bust them long shots. Never got one in, but. I did fucking try an awful lot. 81 defending, 78 heading. He's got great fucking free kicks as well. Every one of his stats are amazing. 75 dribbling also, 70 pace. Bit of a letdown. 76 shooting and 80 passing. Very strong player if you can deal with him not being the fastest. And at right back we're going to be using an absolute silver tank, mate. He's got a hell of a goal for me for 51 shooting. As you can see, it cost me 500 coins. He's got one goal in nine games. He stands for 5 foot 10 and his only decent stat on card is 81 pace. And a decent facial expression, but he worked really well for me and scored a nice goal. And the the defence was just pretty beast. Apart from that, it's a bit slow on the left side, you do get caught out a few times, but it's pretty decent. Other than that, I can deal with it. And the centre mids we're going to be using is going to be Matic from Benfica on the left side. Absolute tank, mate. He is so tall, mate. He just breaks up everything. This team is just so tall altogether. But he's got 61 pace, which doesn't really bother me at all. He seems quicker than that, also. Two star skills only. Bit of a letdown, but he's not on the team for that. 74 dribbling, 73 shooting. Banging left peg and long shot. 78 defending and 78 heading. With 76 pace, also, and it costs you about 20k. Normally a CDM, so he does hold back a bit. Decent work rates for a centre mid and a 4 3 3. And as I said, his long shots are next to none. And the central midfielder we're going to be using is this fella here, Lujamore Fedgesa. Probably just butchered his name again, only two star skills, but not on the team to do that. Centre mid, and again, 6 foot 1, absolute tank of a midfielder, all proper tall. 71 pace, 71 defender, 71 passing, being his standout stats. But all his other Stats are pretty decent as well. 68 dribbling, 68 heading is pretty decent for a 72 silver. And 61 shooting is alright. He's got a pretty decent shot on him as well. And the third and final set of mid we're going to be using is Obreniak. And Jesus, his long shot is incredible. I swear he used to have 5 star weak foot on the last FIFA. But he's got some decent on card stats. It's 81 shooting, uh, 84 passing, 80 dribbling, and 76 pace. So Again, pretty enjoyable to use. He scored two goals in nine games for me. Cost you about nine and came, which is pretty decent because he was in one of the first team in the weeks, as you can say there. As you can see there, it was come out in November, so that was pretty early on. They're normally more expensive. And up front, we're going to be using this guy here, Ab Abu Dhan. This is the third nation and final nation we're going to be using is Algeria. 76 pace, 76 dribbling, 73 passing, with 4 star skills and 4 star weak foot. I, he's, before I used him I just thought, oh he's going to be incredible with a nice bit of 76 dribbling with, and he's right footed with 4 star weak foot and 4 star skills, but it just couldn't seem to score with him. But when I did score he scored some nice goals. But there's a way you can do this um, differently if you don't want to use this silver arm rare, but I thought he's, he's pretty decent. If you put in Stankovic here, 
Then you can get the team of the season left wing, the Serbian team of the season left mid from um, Serie A. And you could work it like that as well when everyone else would be on full chemistry because this guy gets enough links from the centre mid and the right wing. And this man of the match, I was trying to figure his name, Dead Jibor. Probably just butchered that as well, but for a man of the match card, cost me about 13 k I think I put mine up for pretty cheap. He goes for about 16 k normally. He's got 12 goals in 9 games. And let me know if you want to do it, see a uh, player review on this guy, because I've got a decent amount of clips to do it, and I already do want to tell you more about him. But 81 pace, 81 dribbling, 82 shooting, and 81 heading. He's got 4-star weak foot and 3-star skills. And as we talk about player reviews, yesterday... I was supposed to up, uh, upload an Mbukani player review, but I forgot to record his in-game stats before I sold him, so it kind of flopped and I didn't have a video for yesterday. So if you're wondering why I didn't upload, that was why I had nothing to upload. But moving on to the third and final player of this team, an absolute tank also. From the League 1, another Algerian beast. Four-star skills and four-star weak foot, and he's left foot cutting him from the right, so that's pretty decent. He's got seven goals in nine games. Again, absolutely incredible. He's got some nice goals and probably could do a player review on him as well if you want that. Do definitely recommend recommend using this guy. Also, absolutely incredible. 80 pace, 84 dribbling, 74 shooting. His shooting and his dribbling is incredible. 82 passing, also in for 16k. Can't really go wrong because he's got that four-star skills and four-star weak foot, cutting him from the opposite side with his left foot. So this is the team, lads. I think it's by far one of the best hybrids I've built. It's proper unusual. You never see anyone build a hybrid like this, really, with Algerian, Poland, and Serbia. But yeah, since when I was playing, I was getting a lot of messages saying that's a nice team. Like, more or less, everyone I played messaged me about it. And let's just give it a little rundown. Some of my favourite players in the team was this right wing here, Buda Buez, I think his name is, and Matic. I want to use him again. Absolutely incredible. Maybe in a CDM or something. Cause he's just so tall. He's so powerful. Corners as well. And this guy here as well was incredible. This centre back. I can't say his name either, but they're probably my three favourite players. Well, no, actually, the man of the match striker was incredible as well. So he'd got to go up there with probably top two. Him and him and the right wing were incredible. But yeah, let's let me know what you think of this. And if you want to see more hybrids like this, more unusual nations, then please do let me know in the comments below. And if you're new around doing, you like what you see, please do drop a sub. And if you like the video itself, please do drop a like because it helps out a lot. And I'll leave you some goals. And I'm out. Safe. <laughs>